I served uh, in the military in the 101st Airborne Division with, uh, in Vietnam. Um, there were a lot of uh, experiences that started uh, producing questions for life, um, life, death. Um, I was, the company I was in had 97% casualties and fatalities, so it causes you to re-examine everything you know about uh, your faith and your belief system at that point in time. Also, while I was overseas, I was, uh, we were moving in the morning into a village and the guy in front of me hit a wasp nest with his, the butt of his rifle and the bees came out and uh, stung me in the neck and the face and the, uh, the mouth. And uh, I had a reaction, so they medevaced me to a mass unit. And um, by the time we got to the mass unit, all my facial features had disappeared because of the swelling. I flatlined, uh, cardiac arrest, and complete respiratory failure. And as soon as that happened, um, I left my body. <clears throat> my spirit and soul left my body. And I kind of went up above the operating table and watched the efforts to revive me. There was no fear or apprehension. Um, it's just kind of, uh, it was just a calm. It was just uh, waiting to see what happens next. I remember um, most profoundly that while I was in that experience, I was aware that it was still me. It was still Tom Newman that was out of his body. And it's like, uh, that's a glove, and the person you are is still there when you're out of the glove. And I've been sitting there thinking, you know, what was that? Was it drugs? Was it stress? What, what was that whole experience about? And I said to the orderly, um, you know, why were you guys putting blood in one arm and taking it out of the other arm? And he said, uh, how the hell do you know we were doing that? You were gone. So that kind of firmed in my mind that this was an actual real life experience. This really did happen. There wasn't anything that was uh, induced by shock or stress or anything else. With all of those questions about life, death, alternate realities, um, it starts a quest for looking for answers. And I thought, well, I've looked at everything but scripture, so maybe I should start there. I started getting up at five in the morning, every morning, to read scripture for an hour before I'd start my day. I start taking notes, and the notes turned into paragraphs, and paragraphs into pages, and pages into treatises, and uh, there was no intent initially or through the process to, to actually write a book. It was just looking for answers. Did you have any sort of um, a religious background at all before the military? Yeah, I was raised as a, uh, as a Christian in a Lutheran, uh, Lutheran environment. I've always been uh, a spiritual person. Mm -hmm. How has this experience of kind of searching, how has that affected your friends and family? Have they noticed a change in you? Well, I think once you engage in that process, it's a, it's a process of maturation. And all through that process, you become, your faith becomes more, more in-depth, more involved, more spiritual. And when you start looking at, at the complexity of our existence, uh, when you when you acknowledge that we are actually existing in both realities right now, I think it has a profound effect because it, your faith becomes so much more a part of your life, um, and the more your life is engaged in both realities, the more meaning and significance there is to the life we have here.